There are over 100 satellite communities in the Adakwe district of the Volta region. Indigenes in their quest to access fertile lands settle in the hinterlands to enable them to farm to support their livelihoods. Their urge for financial stability has however encroached on the rights of their young ones who have no access to education in their settlements in the hinterlands. Ajabu Prisla resides in Adaklujebe, one of the numerous satellite communities. Determined to access education, she and her siblings must walk about five miles to a basic school in the nearest community. Halfway through their journey, they joined other pupils in the enclave walking to school. <laughs> America kwa tancho, kwa misu kwa vazi kwa, tafoku zomira. Su michole fuma vazi, vado fya dada atemi ya, wa fya nubwa humi ya vaa. Nemi ibe misura, afi fya atemi. Nemi misura nchala dada atemi ya talole miacho, miambe miadamu. The development is widespread across the Adaklu district. According to the Ghana Education Service, 1,015 pupils walk to school every weekday. This hinders the academic performance of the pupils from the hinterlands as they always get to school exhausted and end up sleeping during lessons. We have students from nearby villages. It is nearby but it is far, small. It is affecting their learning when they come to school. Because for the time they get to school, they always come in late. And by the time they get to school, teaching and learning is going on. So it affects their learning. Parents living in the hinterlands would only allow their children to go to school when they are about six years old. They believe at this age, they are old enough to walk the distance. In the event of a pen pal project being implemented by Friends of Adaklu, pupils of the academy in California, USA, learned of the plight of their counterparts in the Adaklu district. Feeling the brunt of their condition, they raised funds to procure 100 bikes for distribution among the affected pupils. Learners from Bekosinia High School, Dabanu, Goepe, Avelebe, Hehepe, Henakope Basic Schools, and Goepe Junior High School benefited from the distribution. Stella Kuda is the country director of Friends of Adaklu. Pedal to Excellence is a project aimed at relieving our kids from walking two to three hours to school every day. With these bikes that we've given to them, they'll be able to ride to school, get to school early, they'll get to school before class starts. And imagine a child missing a period each day for a whole academic year. That's a lot. As they ride to school, they get to school on time and also they exercise at the same time. However, there are still over 900 people who have to travel to school on foot through the hinterlands and are exposed to numerous dangers. They have also extended an appeal to philanthropists to come to their aid. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News, Adakulu.